Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to the Red Estate. Uh, we're still kind of hurting for gold. I'm spending quite a bit at the moment, though, uh, largely getting some of these negative traits removed off of our higher level characters. Uh, I think the level 5 dungeons really pick things up, and, you know, having like a, a random, um, like, diurnal or something um, might actually affect us whenever we get in there. Um, like the wrong curio interaction at the wrong time, that sort of stuff um, could mean disaster effectively. So I want to get these guys sort of cleaned off before we try to do anything more with them. And, you know, they made it to level five. They've earned a little bit of pampering. In the meantime, however, uh, we're going to go ahead and embark again. And I'm thinking that this veteran mission here for heaven's hairpin Sounds like it might be kind of nice. Uh, we we tried our gambit with uh, the Hell's Hairpin, and uh, it didn't go so well. So maybe we should try it the other way around. Uh, it seems fairly appropriate to go ahead and bring out uh, Hellion for this run. So then, like a second rank Man-at-Arms, then a Houndmaster, and some dedicated healing. Uh, Quincy, I believe, is having... A disease removed from her so she is out of this fight this lineup I think should be okay they have all got trinkets equipped some rather terrible quirks but hey what are you gonna do uh, also their skills are eh, mostly okay um, Rook could uh, could definitely stand to be doing better with things like breakthrough and adrenaline rush I don't use defender all that often so I'm not too worried about it but uh, a higher rampart would certainly be nice he doesn't have the increased stun trinket uh, and is instead more of a max HP constantly retributioning kind of man-at-arms but it would still be nice to have uh, we'll go ahead and pop onto the provisioning screen and this is a pickaxe style dungeon uh, we're looking at a medium run so we'll say our two full stacks of food are warranted. A little bit more than a full stack of torches. Actually, let's do it that way so it pulls those off first. And then like three shovels, uh, I think should be just fine. Two of each of those. And then we are going into the Warrens. Maybe two of those, one of those, and one of those. And already our uh, pack is virtually full. Okay. Hopefully we find an excuse to use up those pickaxes sooner rather than later, and our gold stores get replenished by the time we leave this place. Otherwise, the finances of the estate are uh, looking a little in the red. <laughs> uh, there's an accounting joke in there somewhere. But yeah, uh, we could certainly use our economy straightening itself out a bit. Nothing? No, no little quips? Okay. Uh, what am I thinking here? Like a loop up and around, then down? Gotta activate three shrines. It could be anywhere. Ugh. When we get back over to here, we'll probably have to come down and then backtrack back up. Yeah. And then we can kind of zig and zag through all that. I think that makes the most sense. Go ahead and get a move on. Ugh. Yep. Those are the types of things that I don't want happening in the level 5 dungeons. A random bleed can be quite nasty. And uh, I'd rather just avoid it if we can. Thankfully, it was otherwise a fairly uneventful hallway. The same could not be said of the room inside. All right, we'll go ahead and do all of one damage, but bust out a retribution. Oh, that miss. That's not very helpful. At least he can soak it up. He's got 54 HP, which is... Death waits Jeez. for the slightest lapse in concentration. Lapse in concentration? There was no lapsing. I've barely done anything. This is like the very start of the fight. You know what? We need the uh, inventory space anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and Hounds Harry. And we will start laying into these guys. Can you see that? That, that damage is just stupid. Oh my god. Okay. I uh, should be able to kill him. Surges as the enemy crumbles. 
Uh, which is certainly something. We're going to do another retribution here. Again, it didn't do uh, a whole lot of good the last time. Give them no quarter. But it is really his best choice. Uh, he's the closest thing. Oh, I crit for four, did I? Okay, that was very impressive. Uh, he's the closest thing we have to like a straight tanking character. Um, considering all of his trinkets are set up to be plus HP. Uh, so he's got a lot more health than he normally would. So he can definitely take the abuse. Uh, it would just be nice if he could dish out a little bit more damage in return. Thankfully, I do believe our Houndmaster did a decent enough job. Mm, another four. See, four is not crit for four. Four is meh, that was four. The time uh, turns. Nine is a little bit closer to a crit. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that much. Uh, you know what? I don't actually want to kill him. He'll bleed out anyway. If I get lucky, I might just be able to do a little bit of reconstituting. Why not? Guard buff. Yeah. Two. Awesome. That was an amazing two. I'm I'm being sarcastic. Again, guard with him. Uh, these do last for three turns, so there's the possibility if we run into a fight early on in a hallway that it might matter. Pretty decent haul, all things considered, though. Um, hmm. You know what? We're going to eat a little bit of food. Probably not enough to get rid of the entire stack, but enough to make me feel a little bit better. And then... Can use that torch may we find to grab victory. the bus. And then let's just go ahead and pop the holy water here. Okay, great. This is one of the quest targets. So we can go ahead and destroy that and gain back another slot in our pack. Hmm. We will want to check that out. Uh, so... Yeah, not going to be a fight right off the bat. Oh, come on. We could have used the medicinal herbs. It would have given us food. You like food. Food heals you. Gotta listen to me. I don't think she cares. Okay, and uh, looks like we've got another one right away. Awesome. This was definitely the right direction to have gone. All right. Ugh. These guys have got some terrible negative quirks. Like, we can't go anywhere in this dungeon without them being super ecstatic to try things out. Surprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Curiosity killed the cat, guys. I know I know we brought a hound, but the saying still applies. Okay. We'll go ahead and retribution right off the bat. For a whopping one damage that then accomplishes nothing because they don't care that he's been marked. Okay, eight for four. Uh, not so great. Uh, we probably want to do some healing. Six is not exactly an amazing number of healing. Hmm. And I guess just Towns Harry to uh, spread the bleed as much as possible. And with this guy, the fiend falls, never mind. Having such high protection, I figured uh, trying to stack some additional bleed on him might be worthwhile. It didn't turn out to actually matter, though. Drum of Doom will get to uh, repost against that. That is something. This guy has no protection. Awesome. All right. Um, I'm now thinking... Ugh, never mind, because he's going to be stunned. I was about to say, I was thinking of letting our occultist actually use Abyssal Artillery there. Nice. Rock is definitely getting it done. Ugh. Well, 
Well, if he was going to vomit at anybody, I'm glad he did it at him. Six taken two per turn. Let's just try to stack an additional bleed, which will be enough to kill him. Awesome. And then uh, chance to stun. Also chance to get him into position for our Hellions. One. There. What is wrong with you, man? Uh. So, Rock can use if it bleeds on him. That is the reason that I wanted him there. He's taking seven per round. That is actually quite nice. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Yeah, yeah. Sharpened blade. Prodigious size. I get it. That makes sense. To six. Oh, we need one damage on this guy. That should be super easy to do. And then he is out of this fight. Uh, one more opportunity to heal. Ten is better. I can definitely live with ten. The greater the glory. Okay, and we were actually able to hold all of that. Wonderful. Uh, an heirloom chest. We'll go ahead and use our skeleton key for any hidden compartments that might be there. Beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. And we were still able to take everything inside. And the scout is actually quite nice. Uh, you've got 80. Yeah, that is uh, definitely the best trap this arm we've got. Okay, a little bit of stress relief for it. Let's see if maybe uh, we can ignore it this time as to use the bandages. All right, more food. Uh, I can live with food. Actually take this opportunity to just spread the love a little bit. Okay, and uh, everybody but Port is now at full HP. That is something I can live with. <sighs> Things are going pretty well. A little bit frustrating at times, but otherwise pretty well. Um, nothing we'd really want to do here. The ruby's been nice, but we're actually uh, doing quite poorly on gold pickups so far. Oh, come on! Hey, gold pickups. Okay. Well, at least that's something. I mean, I would have opened the sack anyway, right? But still, it's it's about having the option to open the sack. I'm actually going to miss that initial strike. That is totally what I'm going to do. Um, tell you what, let's go ahead and mark him for the synergy that it gives to the Houndmaster. Hmm. Some pretty decent incoming damage. And then we'll basically let Rock here deal with the Slaver and Ghoul. 17. That is what I want to see. Okay. That's the kind of stuff we're talking about. Um, let's just go ahead. Well struck. Ooh. Crit. And we'll stack the repost active. It doesn't end up mattering at all. Man, you are like a stun magnet back there. I don't think that does any damage when we don't take incoming damage. Which is too bad, actually. Alright. Let's see what kind of bleed we can stack up on you. We can three so far. We could stun him. We did stun him. Takes another three. Okay. Should probably go ahead and heal. That 13 is definitely going to come in handy later. And then... Five. Plus a little more bleed. Down to 11, and a little more bleed. We just need to do three damage to this guy. Crush can easily get it done. Awesome. This line will not break. This expedition at least promises success. Hmm. Emeralds are nice. I'm not gonna lie. They're probably nicer than a stack of citrine. Yeah. Yeah, they are. All right, then we'll march forward a little bit further. And this will be our final torch for a while. 
Hmm. Kinda wishing I'd held on to that dog treat now. But it's okay, hulking swinatar. Uh, your stun resistance is probably a little bit high for me to reasonably try to get through all that, since I am not buffed out with stun trinkets. Okay, we did get the bleed on everyone. That's nice. We did get the repost there. That is also nice. I'm gonna go ahead and abyssally artillerize those characters. There's abyssally art abyssal artillerize. There's there's got to be an ad form adverb form of that word, right? Somewhere, somewhere. Oh man, boar rush. Ugh. Oh god. Well, that's not great. <laughs> that's not great at all. And of course, now he's stunned while he's being hit. So, uh, no reaction to it. Okay. Well then. Nine. Four to six. Does four. Uh, not really enough to matter. That, however, will get him killed. Oh, God. Do you crit on everything that you attack with? Is that your whole shtick? Jeez. In seven per round. Not really enough. Uh, it's got 155 base. You know what? We'll just go for the damage. Stacking the bleed is important. You've got 40% protection. Oh, that's so awful. We'll go ahead and swap up one, and then he can start ramparting in the future. Although, I'll be honest, I'm kind of hoping that uh, this guy doesn't survive another turn. Four. And does the bleed. She immediately takes two damage, so it healed her for two. I could have adrenaline rushed, but I really think the outgoing damage is more important here. Yeah. Uh, I do. I do. Okay, uh, we'll try this again. 14 and no bleed. That's what I need to have happening all the time. Just all the time. Okay, it doesn't even matter if he resists that. It, it really doesn't. Um, yeah, we'll just go for it. We might have critted, might have gotten a little bit of uh, stress healing. These you never know. These creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Hmm. Do we dump 25 gold? I think we uh, we actually do dump 25 gold in this particular instance. And then I will immediately use this. Awesome. And I will take that. And I will take that. And I will eat a little bit. Okay. We've had plenty of food to go around during this whole expedition, which I am loving. Oh, the medicinal herbs in the Warrens are definitely worth it. Um, got another scout. Also digging that. Okay. I have a room fight this way. I'm going to let the torchlight burn down for a bit. Uh, worst case scenario... Hmm. Two stacks of portraits? Three stacks of portraits? I think that's going to have to be enough portraits for this dungeon. At least until we can get rid of the uh, other pickaxe. Uh, Animalistic Shrine, we'll just check it out. Oh, oh, it's the quest item! Until we can get rid of another pickaxe. I'm amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and continue adventuring. And that actually changes a lot about the way this dungeon is going to get played. Um, we'll go ahead and burn another torch here. The promise of safety. That will ensure that we are not fighting this in dim light. They'll dodge all of that, which makes perfect sense. Uh, you didn't dodge that though, did ya? And then retribution for all of one damage. Yeah, that's what I love to see. Okay, that's a little bit better. That's also a little bit better. Uh, we can take him down. Nice. Hmm. And then it's just a matter of dealing with the blood letter. Well, 
we certainly got our mileage out of that uh, retribution this turn. Ugh, bad dodge. Okay. <laughs> Not bad dog, bad dodge. There's a difference. Uh, let's just see how much damage we can stack on this guy right away. Not too bad. Down to 33. Taking 5 each turn. Ugh. That shot to the face could have gone a lot worse. And crushing for nine is not exactly what I'm looking for. Healing for four isn't exactly what I'm looking for. A lot of numbers that are not really where I want them to be is, is what's going on there. Okay, there we go. 17, that's the kind of number I wanted. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Uh, we have no need for deeds. We remember that now. Go ahead and toss them. And keep marching forward. Uh, so since I know that the uh, actual quest objective has been completed. Thank you for reading the unsettling passage. That was lovely. Um, that means I'm not so concerned about... Ugh, that's not great. Um, about us keeping our torchlight uh, rationed out, I suppose. I know that I'm just going to uh, be able to leave the dungeon should I run out of them. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? With that in mind... As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. We'll go ahead and toss the last of our torches. Grab another couple of portraits... Is it worth it? Yeah, probably. Um, we're not really needing too much in the way of torchlight. We're just going to start tossing out any of the curio interaction items. Oh my god. We're getting hungry left, right, and center now, though. It's a little unfortunate and kind of means that... Ugh, ugh, that a campfire is less helpful than it would have been a little while ago. Okay. Corpse Eaters are relatively easy, all things considered. Of course, they don't seem dumb enough to uh, actually attack our man-at-arms, though. That's unfortunate. 15 dodge. Ugh. Ooh, and blighted. Ugh. That was not good incoming damage. Okay, do that there. Uh, since she's already got a debuff, I think I'm probably going uh, to use Breakthrough and then Medicinal Herb the negative effects off before acting on the next turn. Yeah, I'd say that seems worthwhile. Um, heal you again. Nice. Um... Five, taking two. So that'll get rid of the corpse eater. Sack a little bit of extra bleed on the swine marcher. And then it is his turn. That's only fair. Only fair. Alright, we get to use the anti-venom and then crush. We'll crush him. Exactly as it should. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. All right, I think we're going to have to do without those portraits. We've probably got enough as it is. Um, ooh, this is a fight I do not want to be having. I would really like to get, you know, a dinner table type thing. Uh, something that might allow me... Let's try for the stun. Yeah. Something that might allow me to pick up a little bit of extra food, since we did run into some, like, back-to-back -back hunger. Um, that extra food would then let me camp and burn off some of the stress before leaving the dungeon. Ugh. Large Corpse Eater actually has no protection. Should probably just be uh, straight up targeting him then. Um, we'll go ahead and use that, and you know what? We're going to do a Journal and Rush. 
which is kind of weird, but I think the uh, plus 20% damage for four turns is going to be worth it. I'm kind of going to turtle a little bit here for like one turn. Mm. And try to use this opportunity to future-proof everything. I kind of wish the Houndmaster had not gone first there. Because I would have liked to have vulnerability hexed. Um, we'll do it to him. He is also a beast. And then... 18 is very nice. Okay, this guy should easily die this turn. Nice. Uh, I never really considered that. The 25% protection, you know, does stick around for a couple of turns, uh, even after you're done guarding. That might make it worth it just by itself. Like starting fights with it and then using retribution. Ugh, that was more damage than it should have been. Hmm. Five is not amazing. Five is still not amazing. Fifteen taking six. You gotta heal yourself, though. For two. But you gotta heal yourself. Every little bit counts, right? Mortality clarified in a single strike. Oh, those numbers are getting kinda high, guys. Maybe we could do something about that. Maybe? Just maybe? That's a weird action, I realize, but uh, it really doesn't matter. We're basically just going to hit the uh, corpse here, hoping to get some heals off prior to the fight ending. Yeah, because that 3 HP, man, you never know when it'll make the difference. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Okay, okay. Uh, the Blightstone is okay can only really be used by two characters, uh, but it's probably worth more than an anti-venom right now. And then, uh, I guess we march on. This next room is probably going to be where we camp. Well, oh, come on. Ver, we got to get rid of whatever is making you do this all the time. Uh, the crests are probably going to be more valuable to us than the shovels. And we've already scouted this room, and it is empty. So you know what? We'll go ahead and firewood here. Gathered close in tenuous firelight, an uneasy companionship. Yeah, we didn't really have the uh, food that I was hoping we'd have coming into this uh, to get the the usual stress resist. Uh, and all we're really concerned about here would be anything that could lower stress. 19. Encourage. You know what? I don't think we're really going to be able to do it. That'll ensure that Rock doesn't have to, uh, to go anywhere to reduce hers. Uh, we'll throw an Encourage at him. And then... There's really nothing else we'd want done. <laughs> Your keen nose is needed in the morn. Uh, there's really not even a reason that we rested there. We can go ahead and just complete the quest. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. All right, and I'm not quite sure that that uh, run was the boon that we needed it to be, but 5,000 isn't a bad haul. Um, basically got almost 12,000, a whole lot of portraits, and a decent number of crests as well. Also, Heaven's Hairpin might come in uh, quite handy on a Hellion. Ugh. Ugh. Oh man. The, the, he lost the good thing and yeah. Well, uh, he got rid of Compulsive. That's something. A family name once so well regarded is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. All right, Brad Wardine is now a master man-at-arms. 
and we removed some diseases and some negative traits, but um, Bercy was caught making strange requests and has now gained deviant tastes. Fair enough. Uh, we're going to have to spend quite a decent amount of our gold actually de-stressing these three gentlemen, mm -hmm. but still going to leave us at about 9,000. Hopefully we can go through a round of, at the very least, disease removal from everyone. Uh, maybe we'll hope to uh, to even pull off a negative uh, quirk from somewhere. Uh, also, in the meantime, that is fully upgraded. And the blacksmith are already fully upgraded. I should know that. Um, the nomad wagon? What is it? It's straight crests, right? What needs portraits? Tavern? Tavern needs portraits. Get the bar. Ale, maybe they can be inured against the horrors below. Okay. Those are pretty uh, decent upgrades for the tavern and the abbey, which requires bus. A little hope, however desperate, is never without worth. You know, a little upgrades, no matter how small, is never without worth. Um, I think that's going to do it for this. Uh, I think we're we're doing okay. I'm hoping gold is sort of stabilizing right now. Um, as we get characters leveled up, I'm basically spending every bit of it that's left over, uh, just making the characters themselves that much better. So it's always going to basically look like we're at zero. Uh, hopefully that sort of stops one day and I just don't have anybody to spend gold on but we have uh, yet to get there so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to subscribe for more videos on the channel every single day. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other episodes and I will catch you guys next time.